everyone, welcome to the journalism program at San Jose City College. Here we are producing the newspaper both online and in print. It's so exciting to me as the advisor of the City College Times to enlighten young minds and inspire them. We have been training journalists for more than 55 years and we are proud of our past successes. We have received many awards from journalism associations in the state. These are exciting times for us times of opportunity, times of change. The way people receive their information these days are rapidly changing. They want to receive their information as fast as possible. So that is why we have changed our focus and we are focusing more on online reporting. Still the same sets of skills for news gathering and news reporting are needed. Still, journalists are the powers on behalf of the powerless. Still, they try their best to disseminate information to the public, but just the format of presentation is changing. Even if you're not a news writer, there's other ways to hone your crafts. You know, I've been a web designer a lot, and I've never had as much hands-on experience with that until I joined the journalism program. I drive here from Santa Cruz. I could go to school over there, but there's something different about it at San Jose City College. You can design pages, you can take photographs, you can write articles, and your past experience in those areas is not so important. You can learn it all here. Newspaper is part of the fiber and the soul of a campus. It's through the campus newspaper that the students can exercise their First Amendment rights, their freedom, and that they can express their own concerns and the concerns of their community. So it's very important to have a campus newspaper. Sorry if I sound a little biased, but if there is only one course that you need to take, that is journalism. And it's because journalism is not just a class. It is essential for democracy. So even if you don't want to pursue a career in journalism, it, it's going to help you down the line. The sets of skills that you get from this class will help you in any professional setting. And even as a consumer of news, just as a consumer of news, later on it gives you the ability to be able to evaluate and understand the quality of the news that you receive from news outlets. One of the good things about this class is that all the decisions are made by the editorial board, all the decisions are made by the students themselves. So they decide on their assignments, they decide what type of topic they want to work on, and they have this freedom, and I think this is what makes that class a fun class. The Times is run like a business with all the responsibilities that um, a company, a business can have to their advertisers and to the public with some deadlines that have to be met. But know that if you work hard and if you have enough enthusiasm, if you have initiative and commitment, perseverance and persistence, you will be successful. At first, during the process, it was challenging. I'm not going to lie. You get 30 emails probably within a day, and um, you're here first, and you're here, and you leave last. I love being able to go into the newsroom and check up on people, make sure they're doing everything, help them out with what they need, give them suggestions, and you know, kind of a on-the-spot critique of what they're doing, and just kind of help them along with their articles. You know, make it flow better, make it more readable. It was just fun going out there interviewing, brainstorming on what topics, you know, that appeal to college students in the community. I brought back a lot of solid writing skills, which I really needed to improve upon. What I learned the most is kind of like time management and kind of knowing how to do everything, but also being successful in terms of knowing how to trust your staff and how to you know, utilize them all together. The best way to get something done with the school is basically to report on it. So many things have improved within the school because the paper, you know, the newspaper went into it because journalism reported on it. It's a very good class and you have to love it first and foremost because if you come and think that three hours is going to do it, it's not. At the JACC conference I was actually able to practice my, my teleprompt reading so it was a great experience. I got the feel for what an anchor is like or what it feels like to be an anchor. My photos won some awards which was astonishing to me. It gave me permission to continue in journalism and in photojournalism and uh, this particular semester uh, we went again to the journalism conference and 
all of us won something, it seems like. I got to meet amazing people. I got, was able to network. We had the workshops, which were amazing. I got to meet great news reporters, great news writers, you know, talented um, people who are actually in the field. And I was able to, you know, exchange contact information with them. It's a fun experience and you meet new people. The whole process of it was just amazing. If you have that drive into you, into you where you want to become the editor-in-chief, man, just do it. So what are you waiting for? Come and join us!